This tutorial will show you how to install Microsoft Visual Basic Express 2008 on your home computer. First thing you need to do is start up Microsoft or start up Internet Explorer. Now, if you want, probably an easy way to find uh, Microsoft Visual Basic Express is just simply to type it into, say, Yahoo. Two thousand and eight. This will be the program that you'll be using throughout the entire course. You can do all your assignments in this and submit them to me. The nice thing about Microsoft Visual Basic Express 2008 is that it is completely free. So go ahead and click on the first link here. Scroll down to download. Click on the download link. I'm going to press my control key so I don't get a message which blocks uh, my downloading of this program. Now I'm going to click on save. I'm going to continue to hold my control key down so that this isn't an issue. And I'm going to save it into a VB folder that's called install. You don't have to do this, but it's kind of nice to keep track of the files that I'm downloading. Once I've downloaded that, I'm going to click run. You may get a security warning. Go ahead and click Run again. Now this setup will take quite some time. So just kind of sit back, relax, be a little bit patient. One thing I might mention is that when you go to register the software, um, you'll be able to register it completely and be able to keep this program forever as long as you have an account, an email account with Microsoft uh, MSN or Hotmail. If you don't currently have an account, just set one up and you'll be able to use your email name as well as your password to register this software uh, through uh, Microsoft. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on Next. And I'll click on I have read and accept these license terms. And I'll click Next. And I'll just go ahead and click on the default. You'll notice that it's going to download 58 megs, which is going to be about 479 megs once it's actually installed on your computer. So if there's a problem with installing a program that's this big on your home computer, um, you're always welcome to use the computer lab at Casper College to make your programs, which will need access to this. Something else you should know is that Microsoft Visual Basic Express can only be installed on Windows XP or Windows Vista. So at this rate, anyway, I'm going to click on Install. Now this is going to take quite some time. So what I'm going to do is I'll speed up the process just a little bit so that uh, you don't have to see all of this. It's uh, currently installing the software. This again is going to take a little bit of time. So again I'm going to speed up this process just a little bit so um, just bear with me. If in the installation, Visual Basic asks you or Microsoft asks you if you want to install, install um, uh, Silverlight, go ahead and say you do. At this particular point, you can see that Visual Basic has been installed successfully. So it also says that I need to register this product within 30 days. So I'll go ahead and exit out of here. Now to register the product, I already have an email account set up with uh, Microsoft, or actually with Hotmail. So all I have to do to register my software is to go to Start. I'm going to go to Visual Basic 2008 Express, and I'll click on that link. I'll now go to Help. I'll go to register product and it is here that you will fill in your username, that'd be your email, as well as your password for 
if you have Hotmail or MSN. That, go ahead, that, go, that concludes this tutorial. Good luck to you in setting up Visual Basic.